All right, ladies and gentlemen, I went to uh, flea market in Canton, Texas this weekend, second through the fifth. And I was there second, third, fourth. I left on the, the morning of the fifth. Anyways, I bought a few things. I bought this pole vise or blacksmith vise, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think I might have paid too much. I paid $210 for it. It does work. All the parts are there. The wedges are different. One wedge is, well, it's got the uh, locking wedge and then it has two wedges that are supposed to lock in each other. That's missing. It's just got a piece of metal. So I'm gonna make one. Jaws line up fine. Little bit of play, but it's got a lot of wear. This thing was heavily used. I thought it was bent, but I think actually it's the way it was made. Uh, the nut on the back side's welded. I'll have to cut it off and get me another. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to uh, just buy an aftermarket bolt because I don't know anybody around here that's good enough blacksmith to make one. Uh, Prices were extremely high, to the point of ridiculous. Uh, I did buy some hammer hatchet handles. They were all about between five and seven dollars, which that was fair. That was really a good price. And more than likely, these are seconds from uh, manufacturing somewhere, but I can't see the defects. I can't tell. Uh, gave me a couple of wedges to go with them, so that was fine. I bought some old soapstone or sharpening stones. These are for a guy at work. Paid four and three bucks. Wasn't bad. Uh, didn't need another pair of needle nose, but when I saw these, the way their nose is tipped and made, I like these. These are handy to have, and more than likely, these are Max pretty sure because I've got one similar to it and they're max. Uh, old school channel locks, little ones, these are just handy to have in your pocket when you're doing something. Now these I bought because they just remind me of a dinosaur. <laughs> I just like them. I don't know. It's paid six bucks for them. Uh, Old school. I think the handle on this one's bent. I'm hoping I can straighten it. Uh, don't know the maker or anything. But these are old. These are long before me, I'm sure. The way this is pinned and, and I don't know. I can, I can redo that. I think I can fix that. Anyways, used to call these wizards. I don't know what they really are. This one's locked up. It's a little quarter inch. I'll fix it. Uh, pair of pliers. Uh, I think this is a US uh, Army issue. I need to do some research. Made in USA. There's something about these that are different. I, I don't know how to explain it to you except they're light. They're not normal steel. There's something I don't know what it is about this. I got to do some more looking into it, but these are not normal. That the steel quality is completely different than what I'm used to. Uh, I can't really read it. Sun's kind of bothering me here in the shop. Anyways, I get the I got this ratchet for free. I bought this one here for ten bucks. I thought I was going to make a deal on a bunch of tools but the man was nuts. And I literally mean he was crazy. He had a three quarter inch Craftsman ratchet. And I think it was a TV one, uh, T1V. And it looked really clean, really nice. $85 for a three quarter inch ratchet. Uh, nothing special, it was a Craftsman, nothing Fancy, I, I, I just don't understand. He blew my mind. 
So I put everything back except for this and this. He gave me this one. Uh, I'll clean it up. I can fix this and make it work. But he was just ridiculous on his prices. Uh, he had a rusty old pocket knife, a case knife. And mind you, this was rough, really, really rough. And he wanted 65 for it. So five bucks for that. I bought another Ford USA wrench. That's for my friend that collects Fords. Uh, she has Ford cars and trucks. And anything Ford I find, I pick it up for. Give it to her as a Christmas present. Another one of these, this one's a larger. I don't have the large one. This its name is Bob, whoever had it. Bob Shea, initials on it. It's in pretty good shape compared to the other ones I got. Just needs some light cleanup. Husky. I don't even know why I bought this. Have no idea. Don't need it, but I got it. Fuller, England. It's the second pair of English pliers that I got that's marked Fuller. These must have had handles because there's no way that came from the factory that rough on the outside like that. Really good shape. So I'll clean them up and look at them. Uh, channel locks, I have never seen one of these. Samson, lever, jad, lever jaw. I'll clean them up, make them look decent. I think the handle on this one's bent too. It goes off to one side a little bit. Anyways, they work, just need to be cleaned up. I got a six inch, now I got an eight inch. I believe these are made by Stilson. I like these little pipe wrenches. And then uh, a Blackhawk. Yeah, I bought, I think I paid five for this. Uh, something to like about the handle I like. I like these Blackhawks. They, they remind me when my dad had his. Uh, it sticks a little bit. It sounds good, it just sticks a little bit. Anyways, I think I got close to $300 in all this stuff. My buy, the, the reason I went there is I wanted to buy one of these. Uh, when I was a kid, when I first started work, one of my first jobs that I had, I worked part-time in a driveline shop and they had two of these mounted on stumps in the shop and they'd hook the drive line or they'd mount the drive lines in these and they'd cut them, weld them, whatever they needed to do, weld weights. Back then, uh, if you didn't have the right drive line, a lot of your older trucks, if you didn't know what truck you got and the drive line fell out, which that's happened, you guys don't know, most people don't remember U-joints, but U-joints would fall out and drive line would drop out. Uh, sometimes you couldn't find the correct drive line, so these guys would cut them and fit them and make them work. Anyways, uh, I always wanted one and they're just too expensive around here. And I thought $210 was high. I passed one up last year and it was $175. I should have bought that one. But usually when you find them, the springs are missing or the bushing's missing or the jaws misaligned, something like that. This one works. It's really in good shape. I just need to clean it up. I am going to mount this to a stump and then I've got an old, it's called a gem vise. I'm going to mount to the stump. I can beat on it if I need to. Uh, so. Anyways, prices were outrageous. Almost every vendor I went to was too high. I, uh, I thought our pawn shops around here were high. Hey, they don't, they don't stand a candle to down there. Last year, I thought it was pretty good. This year, oh my God, prices has jumped uh, quite a bit. Like I said, the average ratchet you couldn't find a ratchet down there for 10 bucks. Everything was 15, 20, 25, uh, 35. Oh my God, I found 
several ratchets that I wanted from a vendor down there and he had a really good selection had thousands of tools probably in the neighborhood of 150 ratchets and every ratchet was 20 to 45 dollars a lot of snap-on stuff that I found but everything snap-on that was marked snap-on I couldn't touch it for 50 bucks it, it's 50 dollars or more it was just ridiculous and this was old stuff stuff that I didn't see it was worthy, so I just, I was amazed at the cost. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I got. Uh, see, I can't see the camera. I'm having a film, little redneck here, but not really great, outstanding stuff, but all I wanted is the vice, the extra, I just kind of. The axe, the axe handles, the hatchet handles were good. I should have bought more, but he didn't have any more. The other vendor, uh, his stuff, I don't know. There was something I, I didn't like the wood. I don't know what it was. I wasn't really okay with what he had. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, prices were high. That's all I can tell. I'll say that again. I was just amazed at the cost. And... Leg vice, post vice, uh, blacksmith vice, whatever you want to call it. I didn't need it. I just wanted it. That was my want. I just wanted one. And like I said, I remember using it when I was a kid. Thought it was pretty cool. Didn't know what I was using back in the day. And I've learned since then that these things are well made. It sure is heavy. Lugging that thing 100 yards, it'll make you a man, I'll, I'm here to tell you. Uh, I wound up strapping it on my back and carrying it, kind of doing like a fireman's carry, because that thing is stout. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, y'all, tell me what you think. Uh, if you guys found anything, let me know if you found anything good. I really haven't found much last couple weeks. All right, guys. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Give me a comment. See ya.